This is the StarCraft Fishmaster 196, and I am no Fishmaster. So we brought in someone who is, our friend Jake, to show us all around this boat, which he happens to know quite well. We're out here on Lake Cadillac. This is StarCraft Fish Pro, host of Fishing 411, friend of the show, Jake Romanek. True. How's it going? Pretty good. Excited to be out on your own personal boat. Yeah, I'm super excited to show you guys this boat today. This is my own personal rig. I have it rigged out with just about everything. I don't know if you could put more on a fishing boat than I have right here, so I'm excited to show that off. But this is the 196 Fishmaster. It's a big boat, a deep boat, meant for the Great Lakes. If you love to troll, you're gonna like this boat. At 19 feet, nine inches long with a 100 inch beam and 49 inches of depth, the Fishmaster 196 is built for serious big water fishermen. Now this isn't quite the Great Lakes, but a chilly fall day in central Michigan feels like as good as any to have Jake show us all he can get out of his rig. Every fisherman has his different way of how he wants to set his boat up, and I've just kind of set my boat up to make it a little bit more easy for myself. And there's just a couple things that we've customized, like these mesh nets that I put up on the front here. It doesn't come from the factory like that, super easy to install. These rod holders here just to store a few more rods when you're out fishing and stuff. And that's one of the nice things about the Fishmaster is it's an open concept boat. So as far as rigging it, running wires, um, electronics, or just adding any accessories, it's super easy with this boat. What does come standard in the bow is a big dry storage box for tackle and a 41 gallon aerated live well. The bow on the Fishmaster isn't massive for a 19 footer. There's still plenty of room to fish up in the nose of the boat, but most of the space in this boat has been saved for the cockpit. A big open concept designed to seat up to six behind the windshield, including a pair of jump seats at the stern. This boat comes with four seats. So it comes with, with two captain seats is what comes from the factory. They're a little bit more cushiony. And then behind here, we have two more seats um, that, that fold up. But what I've added also is I've added these smooth moves, which are like a suspension seat. And when you're in big waves, it picks up that shock of running across that big water. So just another extra added feature. Uh, but a guy that buys this style boat, he's probably gonna put a suspension seat of some kind on this boat. He's also gonna wanna customize the dash, which is what Jake's done with the space to mount electronics. The nice thing about our console designs that we have with, with this series of boats is you can do a flush mount unit here. So a nine inch Lawrence unit fits flush mount. I mean, that's plenty of sonar to get the job done. I just kind of added an extra graph there. But the cool thing about it is you can customize it any way you want, but the way this is set up is just perfect for me. Light up rocker switches come standard, as does a nice big open storage space for a tackle bag under both consoles. Just open storage is what this boat's all about. And now right at the stern, we've got a nice big transom here. There's a lot going on here. That's what really sells this boat. What it has is these cutout transoms in the back. I have a gunnel that comes around and I can lean up against it so when I'm in big waves, uh, it doesn't feel like I'm gonna fall out of the boat. Easy to net fish, easy to set lines. Both of these cut-ins, there's doors that open up. On this side, I have my battery charger. On this side, I have my cranking battery and another accessory battery. All of that is tied together. So it comes down to one plug right here the back of the boat, you plug it in and all the batteries are being charged at the end of the night so you never have to worry about having a dead battery. Every fisherman is different and everybody has their boat set up just a little bit differently, but the 196 Fishmaster is a great platform to start from. Well, let's see if it works. Time to go out on the water. Let's do it. It's not that windy, but on a day like today, you really appreciate the high windscreen here. For sure. <laughs> the fact that I can wear a hat and yeah. I have to take it off, and it's really nice. That's pretty handy, the uh, tracking system there. Yeah, the birch track makes this really nice, and it comes, you know, factory equipped with this track. So if you can possibly think of something to go in that track, they got, they got it. Yep. These rod holders are going to become invaluable here in a little bit once we get set up, but these trees. Basically, you can lift that tree up and it swivels out, and we'll set three rods on this side and three rods on that side, set some planer boards and try to catch something. Deep gunnels let you lean right over the side with a toe kick to lock you in, and the open racks hold up to 12 rods easily. You can see the nice thing about the trees is it gets all your rods up and out of the way, keeps the whole back of the boat open, and you really wouldn't think that we're fishing six rods right now, just the amount of room that we have. It doesn't feel like we're doing anything. <laughs> That's trolling. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. After a while with no bites, it was time to move spots. 
So the only thing we haven't talked about yet is the power, and you've got a lot of power back there with that big Evinrude. Yeah, I've got an Evinrude G2, that's an HL model, so it's actually 25% more at the, at the prop. Pushes this boat about 53 miles an hour, so you get where you gotta go in a hurry. So really, it's not so much about speed for me as it is power, because when you're in big waves and you gotta climb up out of those big waves, I wanna have as much horsepower on the backside of the boat as possible. And so personally, I like to, um, on any boat, if it's a 200 horsepower rating, I'd like to put a 200 on there. And you can put a kicker motor on there. If you're a troller, you definitely want a kicker motor. Well, let's see how she runs. Yeah, yeah let's go. This is a solid ride. Woo yeah! This thing has a lot of power. StarCraft's power track hull pushes the angled dead rise further back towards the stern so it can slice through waves in big water. Not such an issue for us today, but a major asset on the Great Lakes. Well, we're out of time to master the fish today, but Fishmaster 196 is a solid boat that should be able to give anyone the tools to become a master in their own right. Thanks, Jake. <laughs>